Hi there. Um, we're looking now at the dew point profile and plotting onto a profile. OK, we have done all the hard work. We've done all the calculations. We've worked out the boundary temperatures from the inside surface, 23 degrees, um, all the way through to the brick, the other side of the brickwork, which is effectively the outside surface. Now, bear in mind, you could have done it the other way from outside to inside, but we've done it from inside to outside, which is why this outside surface is blank. It would be the other way around if it was done the other way, because we're literally plotting onto the, the boundaries. You'll see in a second what I'm talking about. <laughs> so um, first up, we make sure that along our y axis we have temperature. So eight degrees was the outside temperature. And then 23 degrees was the inside temperature. So as long as that range covers it and as long as the increments are equidistant. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I've done it in increments of four. You, that's very important when you come into plotting on graphs to make sure it's really clear um, and it's accurate. So on the bottom, on the x uh, axis, we have got wall depth. I've got it in millimeters. All I've done is transpose that information across here. So you can see the wall, the sort of the what we call the boundary of each um, element and then these little squiggly lines outside, inside. OK, um, and then again, it's all equidistant. So 100, 200, 300. And I've then because this is only, this cavity is only 80. Right. I've put the line there, but I'm still showing clearly equidistant increments, 100, 200, 300. Um, so it's so again, it's accurate. Our, um, our graph will be accurate. OK, so first up, um, I'm looking at my inside surface to my plaster. This red line here shows me it's gone from 23 degrees to 22. And then I just keep plotting all the way down to 18, 9, 8. There you go. There is my boundary temperature. OK, so every single boundary, that's my temperature profile. Call me close. Temperature, prof temperature profile, so, and then we move on and we say, well, actually, the dew point. So where is it going to be 100% um, humidity? Where are we going to be worrying about there being dew or condensation, that sort of thing? Well, down here, I'm all right. Oh, look, I'm plotting my points. I'm OK. Oh, the blue is below the red. We're good. Oh, no, what's happened here? At where the cavity is finished, so once it's passed through the cavity, the vapour pressure within that area is actually at 100% humidity. Look at that there and there. This is where, unfortunately, we are going to be suffering interstitial condensation. OK, so this is where we are at 100% humidity. This is where there is no more um, contain. You can't contain any more water. So the water is then going to be visible. So this is where I would be worrying about condensation within my material. OK, so that's basically how you draw your profile. Um, OK, have a go. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.